Good morning, folks. Today we've got several science updates from astronomers studying the May 2024 solar superstorm. We've got a tidbit from the major October storm as well. But as always, we're starting with the last 24 hours on our star, where solar flaring is ticking upwards. We're all in on eruptive activity watch entering the week here. We'll begin with the uptick in flaring. In the span of an hour, the quiet ended and several M-class flares in an increasingly energetic situation erupted. They did so both from the departing and incoming sunspot groups. You can see the X-ray flux chart here, the silence ending and the return of the flare flashes. Looking at the sunspots, it's clear that it's those departing and incoming groups near the equator, and they will continue to be monitored today, as well as the plasma filaments. Quite a few of them snaking around and in between the active regions and coronal holes. That predicted Riger cycle uptick may be happening this week. Eyes on it. There was a notable quake in the West Pacific. Luckily, this one was far enough out that heavily populated areas were spared significant shaking. So, let's get to the articles, starting with a look at the mid-latitude solar storm effects from May, surprising impacts over both Australia and the United States. Once again, they find the impacts of this solar event were far outweighing what was expected, and the same was true over Mexico. We continue to see reports of significant auroral activity in areas unaccustomed to seeing them. It's the weaker magnetic field of Earth in this ongoing magnetic pole shift, allowing weaker space weather to have these outsized effects. And in this case, May 2024, those effects were seen down into the tropics, with significant ionospheric excitement over the Peruvian sector described here, including an impressive amplification of the equatorial electrojet and the plasma fountain. This storm was major, but the issue remains that what triggered the storm was not. It's just that our planetary shield is in the process of having its magnetic flip. And staying in that same lane, reports are coming into spaceweather.com that rare magnetic field signatures were seen during the October 2024 solar storm. This was even weaker. The May event was at least 10 times stronger than the October event, and yet, we also saw tropical auroras, and here we find that the magnetic field is singing quite the unusual song under those plasma pressure and storm conditions. Tick tock. It's getting more and more towards the edge of the cliff in this scenario. It's the main topic of our mini conferences, by the way. Three of those coming up the next few months, plus the special December event as well. Come out to Observer Ranch and see us observerranch.com. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.